The fade is good. Navigators up in the third. And then Simons taking it even further back. Are you kidding me? Basket and one. Falmouth, it's a nice passing. Jace Meter to Henry Stoll. They go up 14. Simons, though, picks up his fourth foul. And Noble would go on a run when he went to the bench. Isaiah Canary for three from downtown. Then Bryce Guitard fills it up from downtown. They cut it to five, but Meter with a clutch three stops the run and they hang on. Falmouth 51 48 in a big matchup of a South contenders. Freeport began the night in first place in Southern A and they were hosting Lake Region. JT Pound kicks it out to, the Co uh, to Connor Smith. He's going to bury the three. Then off the inbounds play, Pound hits the jumper. He had 18. Falcons up 14 in the third. Lakers go on a run. Jackson Libby for the basket high off glass. He had 19. But Will Manikas closes out the quarter with the putback. 55 40. Freeport stays on top. Mount Ararat and Westbrook fighting for a home play in game, it looks like. Eagles' Casey Bergeron making something out of nothing high off glass. For Westbrook, David Mubaya ties things up. Eagles go on a run. Bergeron hits a cutting. Logan Dobuk for the basket. 42 37, Mount Ararat with the win. Well, the story of the night in high school basketball, word getting out that the MPA sent a letter to Oceanside reminding the team of the code of ethics following a string of lopsided wins. The Oceanside juggernaut going on the road tonight at Morse. A fast moving first half. Trevin Ripley gets the put back for Oceanside. The other way for the shipbuilders, Gage Shooter comes right back, hits the three. He had 25. But the Mariners out and running. Carter Galley dishing to Ripley for the lay in. Then Cohen Galley finds Connor Kingsbury for the wide open three. Galley's combined for 56, and they do it again. They put up 96. They beat Morris 96 63. Game of the night, double A South. Deering hosting 10 and 1 Gorm. Justin Jamal gets the kick out. He was cooking, hits the three. Deering by 12, late in the third, looking for just their fifth win. But here comes Gorham. Gabe Musho off the rebound. He's a one-man fast break. He had 19. It's a four-point game late. But Deering would break the press on the ensuing play. Tayshawn Cleveland makes it a four-point game again. Under a minute to play. Griffin Gammon with his team down four, knocks down the three, 60-59. Teams trade free throws, 62-51 uh, Deering. The final seconds, a couple cracks at it, but no good, and Deering hangs on for its win of the year. 62-61, the Rams of Deering the victor. Wyndham coming off its first loss, playing at Edward Whittle, the third. Ding Maywen inside, look out below. Eagles, though, they get in transition. Crady Dixon with the sweet finish. And then A.J. Moody with a little showtime baby behind the back. To Dixon, who gives it up to Tyree James for the lay-in. 68-54, Wyndham gets back in the win column. Scarborough at Thornton Academy tonight. Pick up the action this one. Carter Blanche left open. He deposits it. The triple gives his team a 13-point lead early on. Thornton a mini run. Wyatt Benoit inside in transition. But Scarborough's Liam Garropy gets that basket right back as the clock winds down as we go to half. And then Nate Glidden to start the third. Rattles went in. 51-40, Scarborough keeps winning. TA has lost eight straight. Class C action, North Yarmouth Academy hosting Old Orchard Beach. She was a close one in the first half. Nate Oney ahead of the pack. He had 34. Then the Seagulls in transition. Brady Plant to Levi Perone for the lay-in. Then they work it around, and Riley Preventure finds Derek Weber cutting for two. 71-50 Old Orchard to win in Yarmouth. The Miranda Cook boys on the road at Lisbon. Robbie Vivenzio gets the offensive board, dishes to Brandon Chilton. Black Bears up 13. And Elijah Freeman spots up, buries a corner three. He had 12. Later on on the fast break, Freeman ahead to Chilton for the hoop and the foul. He had 16. 81 43. Miranda Cook, they're 10 and 1. They're third in B North right now. Winthrop on the road at Madison in a C matchup. To begin this one, Cole Bard gets free behind the arc and knocks down the triple. Bulldogs come back the other way. Deacon Murray using the glass for two. But Winthrop would pull this one out. Chain ring from the three-point range. Knocks it down. 40-36, to 36, Winthrop a road win. Another Class C game of note. Mount Abram tops two-time defending champ Deergo tonight. 85-56. The Roadrunners are 10-0. Big game in AA tonight in girls action. Hoops for Hope night at Thornton Academy. High school players and youth players raising $19,000 to fight cancer. When they started, Ruth Bowles on fire for Chevers. 
She hits a three. Then Maddie Fitzpatrick, the drive and one with the body control. She had 25, becomes the first Chevrolet girl to go over 1,000 career points. An 11 0 Stags run to start this one. Thornton puts a rally together. Addison Sulikowski with the steal and then finish for two. She had 16. And then Sulikowski in the trap finds Laura LeBlanc. All of a sudden, Thornton comes back, makes it 20 to 14. They're down six. But Chevrolet responds. Rachel Feely knocking down the open three. 62 44 Chevrolet. They're 13 and 0. Gorham trying to beat Scarborough for the second time in two weeks. Red Storm trying to rally in the fourth. Caroline Hartley with the left hand inside. She had 13. The Rams pull away. Summer Gammon on the fast break. The basket for Gorham. And then Ellie Gay inside for the hoop and the foul. She had 24. 53 35 Gorham. They're 9 and 2. Freeport girls hosting Lake Region. Lakers build a lead in the third. Bella Smith left alone outside, and that's what she does. Knocks down the three. Then Smith hits Ava Smith for the jumper. 42-34 Lakers after three. Freeport trying to rally. Abby Giroux hits the tough step back. But Bella Smith answers with two more of her own. 58-48 Lake Region. They've won four of eight. Madonna Valley girls up near the top of the standings in B South at Levin tonight. Titiana uh, Williamson. Pulls up, hits the jumper. She had 16. Panthers up double digits in the third quarter. Other way, Jordan Boulay, the basket for Levitt. But the Panthers would hold on. Maya Cannon hits the baseline jumper. 40 27, Madonna. They're 10 and 3. Lewiston hosting Oxford Hills in a big double A North girls battle. Blue Devils build the lead in the first half. Ellie Laguerre, count it. Lewiston up 12. Vikings rally. Ella Pelletier, the spin and the tough basket. She had 18. Then Gabby Tibbetts closes out the half with the three. The Vikings down nine. And they control the third. It's Tibbetts again with the triple. 57-52. Oxford Hills comes back for the big win. Mount Ararat at Westbrook. This one a tie game at 17 in the second. Eagles put a run together. Juliana Allen off the steal, the spin, and one. Then Allen hits Avery Beal inside for another basket and one. Some more nice passing. Kennedy Lampert, Callie Pomerlo. 57, or rather the other way around, Lampert. To Pomerlo, or Pomerlo to Lampert, 57 44. Mount and I are at the win, they're 10 and 2. All right, Camden Hills on the road at Brewer. Camden Hills would go on a run. Kalula Marks, she's a force in the lane. Then Waka, Tail Waka, capitalizes on the offensive board. 57 51. Camden Hills with a win tonight. Unbeaten Lawrence hosting the Comus. Maddie Provost drives baseline for the basket for the Bulldogs. And then Lily Gray would get the lay in. It's all Lawrence 68 to 40. They stay unbeaten. Hey, let's go back to boys action. Brewer and Camden. What a game this was. Will Duke comes up with the steal. He's going coastal for the wind jammers. This would go overtime. It'd go double overtime. Nolan aims the game winning free throws with seven seconds left. And Camden Hills prevails 72 71 over Brewer. Skowhegan hosting Gardner. Here come the Tigers. Braden Elliott from behind the arc. That's a swish. Other way for the Riverhawks. Jackson Height fighting through the paint. Bounces it off glass. 67-52. Skowhegan with the win over Gardner. That's Hoop Safe for this Friday night. I'm Travis Lee. You can check out all the highlights once again if you want on WMTW.com.